If you're watching this, please do feel free to join in with the unusual facial positions myself and Una are going to uh, attain for you. Uh, once you've learned the routine, don't feel you need to come back here to be taught it again. You can go off and, and try it by yourself. But bear with us as we take you through the next 10 minutes of uh getting this routine perfect. Now, we've not necessarily done a warm up today. It could be you want to warm up the area. So some people use uh, a warm, damp um, flannel or, or tea towel on there just for a few minutes to get the heat and the circulation going as best as it can. You could use a microwavable wheat pack or for some people, they do the stretches after a hot shower so the tissues are naturally warmed up um, from that. There are a series of 12 exercises. Each exercise we're gonna hold for about 10 seconds and it's suggested 10 seconds or more is long enough to stretch it. Um, I've got a bit of a job because I'm going to do a bit of the exercises and also talk through what we're doing. So Una's committed to the 10 seconds per exercise. You'll see me doing a bit less. So excuse that. Um, but if you could take it to 10 seconds yourself at home, that would be the perfect solution. So if you're comfortable and ready to start, we'll look at exercise number one. And the description of exercise number one is to open your mouth as wide as possible. And for this version, we're allowed to have the lips move away from the teeth. And I should say 10 seconds does feel quite a long time. Now, what I forgot to say is if you've got mouth ulcers or sores in the area, um, perhaps just take it a bit gently or, or find a time if you get one where it's more settled. Thank you, Una, that's a, a very long 10 seconds, apologies. Sorry, <laughs> so that's I, need, the... I need a timer. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first one. The second exercise is very similar, but this time the lips stay wrapped around the teeth. So we can't see the teeth when we do that maximum mouth opening. So putting the lips around and then opening fully from there. Okay, thank you very much. So that's 10 seconds of that one. We're gonna get our hands involved now. So hopefully you've got the hand function to be able to move the jaw a bit, which is the next exercise. And we know throughout scleroderma research that the best way to get things moving is to give it a pull or a push yourself, which isn't a very technical explanation but quite a complex scientific conclusion. So if you just pop your hand on the jaw there, um, you've got it kind of rested between the thumb and the index finger. And what we're doing is just pulling the jaw down. So it's the same kind of movement we've just done, but this time with an extra stretch. So take it to that position. Okay, so these exercises get more and more unusual. I think as we go through, you're doing okay, you know? Yeah, yeah. You saw everyone okay at home? I think we're hearing you saying yes, I hope we are. Um, okay, so the next one, we're gonna look at pursing the lips or stretching them a different way. And the idea is you push your lips together in a straight line and hold that stretch like this. Okay, uh, for the next one, we're gonna try and stretch all the tissues around the side of the mouth here. And this is our kind of hamster stretch in that you're taking a deep breath in and then blowing that air into the mouth with the lips to close and holding yourself in that position again for 10 seconds. So. <laughs> a bit of a breathing exercise that one as well. Um, I think I was gonna get an there. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, the next one is the nicest one for you to perform in front of your friends and family, although maybe you don't want to do this publicly because the instructions are make an exaggerated smile. So we're looking at bringing the top lips up as high as possible and curling them around and holding that position for the 10 seconds. Okay. We're gonna get our hands back involved and we've already tried pulling the jaw downwards. Now we're gonna take it to one side or the other. So firstly, we're gonna take it to your left. Sorry. <laughs> it's a bit hard for us to know left and right, Una, isn't it? Because it's all mirrored in this Zoom feature, but. 
as long as you've all gone one way, we're now going to go the opposite way for another 10 seconds. Now, there is a tendency for jaw joint pain for some people. So if that's uncomfortable, don't push too far. We are trying to stretch the skin rather than any of the joints around the area. Thank you very much. Uh, now, the next exercise, we're moving slightly further down. And I don't know if this is your situation, but for some people, skin tightness runs down below the chin and onto the neck there. And this stretch is specifically for that issue so i'll just read the instructions first we're going to open the mouth look upwards and then keep the head in the same position bring the jaw up or close the mouth so with the mouth open we've got a decent stretch on the area then look up keeping the mouth open and then to really force the stretch on this tissue close the mouth and it should be tight all the way around here Great, thank you very much. That was exercise number nine of 12. So we're in the final straight here. Um, the final three exercises go back to that scientifically proved uh, theory that forcing the stretches gets you better outcomes. So when these stretches were first suggested in 1984, it's the ones you've done. Uh, what we're gonna go through now is something that came around more uh, about 10 years later, I think it was mid nineties that the idea of getting your hands involved uh, was added to the routine. And we know it gets better uh, results for most people. It does rely on your thumbs working at a level where you can use them to stretch off your mouth. And also it's possibly not the nicest exercise to do in public or, or hygiene wise. So make sure your hands are, uh, are clean. And what we're gonna do is use our thumb to stretch the opposite side of the mouth. So for instance, on the first one, we're going to get right thumb into left side of the mouth and pull it sideways, again, holding for 10 seconds. Okay, that's 10. We'll do the same for the other side. So it's left thumb into right side of mouth. And again, 10 second hold. Okay, and then the final exercise, we're doing the previous two, but at the same time. So we're pulling both sides of the mouth. It's probably easiest with your thumbs to put them in opposite sides and pull across. But if you want to use your fingers, that's an alternative. Should we try thumbs first, Do No, I don't know if you've had a yeah. favorite. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. OK, and we ought to do one exercise for free. So we'll, we'll add in with the fingers. So the same idea, if you've got the finger function, I know that index fingers are prone to ulcers or, or skin deterioration, but you can do it this way. So that completes the program i to say perhaps twice a day three times a day would be ideal but the best form of exercise you can do is something that you will do daily for the rest of your life so starting off with once a day is probably sufficient to make sure you're still doing it in a month or two months time um una how's that feeling to you having gone through that today yeah, I was it's really the, at the end with the mouth stretches, I find the hardest because I can't actually, there's no stretch. There's just no um, elasticity left there. So, mm -hmm. And I think it's kind of pushing it as far as you can for comfort, but not going too crazy on these things. I mean, we're all probably a little bit pushed for time and finding time to do these kind of things is a challenge. Um, it could be, as you've described, Una, if the first nine are, kind of warm up for you, perhaps you do do them, but maybe you jump straight to this, you know, assisted stretch to reap the benefits from there. Yeah. So uh, I hope you've found the video useful. Um, there is some text accompaniment uh, available and perhaps you might have a leaflet of this, but video is the modern way. So I think this will be useful for you guys to have a think about um, how you use this and get into a routine and do feel free 
free to feedback via SI UK if you have any queries, additions, tips um, that you've you found for your mouth stretching. And we really do hope this will make your next trip to the dentist easier, your eating easier and your talking more easy and free flowing. Um, so thanks very much for your time. Bye for now. Okay. Thanks.